Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm just coming at this. This video is um, the parking recipe video, so I'm just coming on at the beginning um, because um, I just want to tell you about some glasses that have been sent. I have been sent some before from this company, which is Zinf. Anyway, I'll tell you a bit about them in a minute. Um, I just sort of update you. Yesterday we went to Chatsworth House for the Christmas. Um, Oh, the Christmas displays. Oh, it's stunning. If you get the chance of going, it's in Derbyshire. Absolutely beautiful. I loved it. I'm absolutely worn out. It was a long day. <laughs> I'm really tired when we got back. I couldn't sleep the night before, which made it worse. And we'd been to um, like a dinner the night before from the bowling <laughs> Everything's always from the bowling club. From the bowling club. So I was a bit... I'll put a photo of me and Sandy at, at the dinner. It was nice. Um... So, um, so I was really tired, but I loved it. It was absolutely spectacular. Absolutely. It's stunning. And it's got me in the Christmas mood. So from today, it is Tina Talk Time, official Christmas jumper season. <laughs> I even wanted to come back and put my Christmas decorations up. I've not got put my Halloween ones away yet. So I've got to work out where to put them all. So anyway, it, it was a funny coincidence with Zinf because what happened was, just let me show you these. This is the first pair they sent me. Um, um, what happened was I sat on my glasses and broke my glasses and I was so annoyed that I broke my, my good glasses, you know, because I've got lots of like pound shop glasses that I'll have all over the place. But I was so annoyed that I sat on them and broke them. And then the very next day I got an email from Zinf and... Um, they said they'd like to give me two pair of glasses, so I thought, woohoo, you know. <laughs> but I mean, I have bought glasses from them before, you know, so I do know that they're very good. Um, and these glasses, these are the first pair of glasses that they, they sent. Um, I'll put them on, you can see them. I've, I've forgotten what they're called, but I'll find out what they're called and put the details on. Um, but Right, so these are the Zoe glasses. Um, they do them in lots of different colours. Um, I think, I can't remember whether I had the blue, um, you know, you can get the blue light reflector on. And it's dead easy to order them, really easy. You just um, upload your prescription and then you have to do a measurement. Uh, but honestly, um, there's, there's instructions for everything. And you know, you can even go on and, and upload a photo and see what your glasses look like. And they just take about three weeks to come. And when they come, now the only thing I would like is I don't know why they don't put them in a case. Because this box is all eco-friendly and everything. But it's a bit big to put in your handbag and you don't want to carry that around with you. So if they just put a little glasses case in, I think it would be much nicer. But it comes wrapped up in this cloth um, in the... Um, in the box so and this, I think mine took about three weeks to come um, but I'm sure if you needed them sooner you could ask for them anyway moving on and there is a really really generous discount code it's 50% off the frames and 10% off the lenses and um, so it's really good because the prices are good anyway um, and I think it's I'll put it all in the description box which now they've moved it on YouTube and it's now you click on more underneath the, the the title of the video. Click on more and it, it'll come up. Um, and then um, this is the other pair. Now I do feel a bit like um, Deirdre Barlow in these. <laughs> these are the t don't don't I look like Deirdre Barlow? Look, <laughs> I didn't realise, but. But they're really clear to see through, you know, so they are nice to see through. Um, and these are called Tatiana. I'll put the links in, you know, so you can see them. But um, I'm not sure. Oh, I think these have got the blue light on. I could just see the reflection then. I'm not too sure whether these um, are my favourite, <laughs> but they're extremely comfortable. Really good quality. Can you see they've got the... Um, the spring action things at the side doesn't stop you from breaking them when you sit on them though because that's what i did with mine but they are extremely clear to see through so i was really pleased thank you zim 
for sending me these glasses. I, I really needed them. They couldn't have come at a better time. Because <laughs> everything happens before Christmas, doesn't it? I've got like um, a dormer and some of the, I mean, to be truthful, the cedar wood's been on it for 50 years, but some has come off in, in the wind and that. And like, I thought, well, um, my son, that's how he broke his foot that time. Uh, trying to fix it once before so he said I'm not going up so but I mean it's like over two thousand pounds to have it redone just the front of it it's a lot of money isn't it well I'm having it done in well I don't know what they call it is it composite a PVC or something and I suppose it's been I'm just putting the other ones away now I suppose they've been on it's been on for 50 years so it doesn't owe me anything you know so anyway if you're interested in a pair of glasses, everything will be in the description box. Um, and as I say, they are good quality. I do like them. I found them. Well, as I say, I bought a pair myself, you know, from there. Um, but thank you, Zim, for gifting them to me. And yes, these are definitely the ones with the blue light on. Um, which, you know, I'm on my iPad and my um, iPhone an awful lot. And I do find that I sometimes get a headache with it, you know. You'll have to excuse my hair. I've not done it since we went to uh, ch chats. Do you know I keep wanting to say Chartwell? I have been there. That's a nice place as well. Winston Churchill's old home. No, since we went to Chatsworth, um, I, I, I need to do... Well, I only went yesterday, but I should have done it this morning, but I just couldn't be bothered. I was so tired. Anyway, I'm digressing again, as I always do. So, sit back and watch the parking... Uh, uh, video the recipe for the parking i hope you like it and thank you for watching and if you'd like to subscribe i'd love you to subscribe uh, there's a lot of people watch the videos but don't subscribe um and i often wonder if people think you have to pay because you don't have to pay it's completely free um so if you you know if you had no pressure but if you would like to subscribe please do and um if you could give me a thumbs up or if you tick on the bell, you'll get notified when I do another video. Anyway, sit back and watch the parking recipe and bye for now. Hi everybody. <laughs> well, today I'm going to bring you the long awaited parking recipe, the Yorkshire parking recipe. Um, my nana and my mum always made this parking, um, but the recipe is very similar to the James Martin um, recipe. I mean, I guess, we both had Yorkshire grandmas, you know, <laughs> so, anyway, it's quite easy, very easy, really. Um, it takes about 40 minutes to an hour in the oven at 150. I've got my oven on at 150 and I've got most of my ingredients ready. I do find it easier to measure all my ingredients out um, before I start and then maybe have a cup of tea before I get going, you know. Anyway, I haven't done today, but I'll just tell you. I'll put the recipe in the description box, so don't worry. Um, oh, do you know, I'm faffing around with it. Do you know, I'm so thick with this camera. Well, it's my phone. I kept thinking, why is it so dark? Is it dark? Put the lights on. But I didn't know there was different exposures on it. On, I just thought, what's that dial there for? And I, I'm rubbish I need to go I need to sit down and do some tutorials on them you know I keep saying to you know my friend Marie from Busy Bee Marie well she's really good at all the technology and I keep saying I'm going to sit down and do some tutorials but I never do so I never seem to find time anyway I've got to do this fairly quick because I'm going out for tea with my daughter and son-in-law I slept at their house last night and then um we came back, uh, well, they dropped me off this morning. They, they were going shopping, but I didn't want to go. Um, but we're going out to a nice place at Lytham. Um, it's called Lytham Hall. Uh, is it Lytham Hall? I think it's called Lytham Hall. Um, it used to be Fort, Fort, um, Portofino's restaurant. So I'll let you know what that's like. Anyway, I've got my ingredients ready. I've got eight ounces of self-raising flour four ounce of caster sugar. I'm afraid I'm an ounce person. You'll have to look at what the grams is. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure. I'll put the James Martin recipe on because it's very similar. And um, he's probably got it in grams as well, whereas I just don't know what they are. So you've got that. And then you add to that 
a teaspoonful of ground ginger. So you put in a, a teaspoonful of ground ginger. That might be a bit more, but it doesn't really matter. We like it gingery, don't we? A teaspoonful of bicarb. This is my favorite kitchen ingredient. It does all sorts, gets stains out. Absolutely marvelous. So you put a teaspoonful of bicarb in. And then I put, now this is where his recipe is different from mine. I put a sprinkle of nutmeg in, only because my nanny used to, so, but James doesn't do that, so probably different parts of Yorkshire, you know. I'm not sure which part of Yorkshire he came from. I'm feeling it might have been Sheffield, but I don't know. I'm from West Yorkshire. Don't look big in this. I thought I'd better put it on. I am getting changed before I go out, I'll tell you. So what you do is you sift all these together in a bowl. So there's the sugar and the flour. So I'll just put the sugar in. And the flour and you just sift them all into a bowl. I don't know whether you need to sift them nowadays, but I always do. Do you know, I don't think my nanny used to when I think about it. She'd probably just give them a good bashing. So you sift all those into a bowl. And you get clouds, can you see clouds of flour? In a bowl. Meanwhile, I've got on the stove, I've got two ounce of butter, and then I'm going to do four ounce of golden syrup. So what I do to weigh the four ounce, because it makes a mess of your bowl, is I weigh it. Now that is one pound four ounces. So I need to get it down to a pound on there. So I'll just squirt some out. If there's more than it needs to be, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. I mean, a lot of the time I don't even measure things from, so you melt those together. Oh, I love golden syrup. So I'll weigh it again. Oh, would you believe that is dead on a pan? So a good squeeze is four ounces. I like to get on with stuff ready beforehand because um, otherwise you're charging around the kitchen. So you mix all these together. That's melting over there. I can't remember, Did I, have I done my sticky toffee pudding recipe here? That's a nice recipe. I think I might have ever done it, I can't remember. I'll have to go look back at my videos. You forget what you've done really, you know. Because you think, oh, I'll do a video on that, and then months later you can't remember whether you've done it or not. I've got a nice recipe of um, a gingerbread and butter pudding. It's finding time to do more. And quite frankly, nowadays, it's as cheap. So you mix all those together. It's as cheap to buy the cakes as make them nowadays. I suppose especially with your oven time as well. Right. Oh gosh, I nearly broke the plate there. Right, so the butter's melting in with the syrup over here. I'll just give it a little stir. It's not long to go now, I don't think. You don't want it on too high because you don't want it to burn. So what you do, you've also got, which I forgot to tell you, seven ounces of milk and an egg. I've got an egg somewhere. So you've got seven ounces of fluid ounces of milk. And then you put an egg in and just whisk that. Melting the syrup and the butter. I think it's nearly there. Just a little bit more. So that's all nicely melted. So what you do is you pour the egg and uh, egg and milk mixture in there into the flour. Mix it up. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. 
sometimes I put, you know, I put a little bit more milk in. I'll see how it goes. You can see it's, it's almost like a dough consistency. On some recipes, they put porridge oats in, don't they? I think I have made them with porridge oats, but this is just how my mum and my nanny used to make it. My mum used to make it when we were hard up, which was often um, if she got the stuff in, you know, for us to eat. So then you mix the um, melted butter and syrup in. Give that a stir. And then Bob's your uncle, it's nearly ready. You see, so it's really quick and it does help if you get all your ingredients together first. So you just need to give this a good mix. You see how it's loosening it up. And then this goes in the oven at 150. I've got my oven on at 150. For like, I'd check it after 40 minutes, but it usually takes 40 minutes to an hour. Can you see it's all coming together now? Quite often I would double up this, you know, if I was making a big one. Right, where have I got my, oh here. So I've lined this tin with it, with it, with, with baking paper. And then I'm gonna put some in, it might do more than this, it could possibly do two of these. Cause I don't like it, you know, I like it thin pieces, I'll see. Oh no. In fact, it's just two when I double up the recipe. I do often double it up. The dog's running in. <laughs> Betsy's running in because I know it's very naughty, but I often let her lick out the bowl. You're all going to be disgusted with that. I do put it in the dishwasher afterwards. But she loves licking out the bacon. It's very naughty, isn't it? Oh, she's out there. She loves laying on a bag as well, plastic bag. Right. So that's all it is. So that's ready to go in the oven now. Can you see? So I'm going to pop it in the oven um, and I'll come back after 40 minutes. Alexa, oh, I've switched her off. Oh no, you're on again. Alexa, can you give me an alarm in 40 minutes? 40 minutes, starting now. Thank you. She does have some uses. So I'll put this in the oven now for 40 minutes. So we'll see you in 40 minutes. Or it may be an hour if I have to put it on for another 20. Right. <laughs> right, okay, I'll, I'll come back to you after. Right, here is the finished um, Yorkshire parking. Um, it did actually take 50 minutes. Um, and what I'll do is <clears throat> I will put the recipe in the description box, which can now be found um, under the title of the video. You just press on more. Uh, they seem to have changed where they've put it. So... Um, as you can see, um, it, it's it's right, risen lovely. Um, I'll I'll just show you where I, when I've cut into it. Right there you are. It's absolutely delicious. 